Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to the vlog. Oh, 20th of July today, I've been for my second Pfizer vaccine this morning and I'm pleased to say 5G has never been so good in the brewery. Fantastic reception. So, what else have we been doing apart from fighting off COVID-19? Well, we've been brewing as you can hear. Quite a few things have happened which I haven't unfortunately on your behalf managed to get on video. Hi up mate. Oh, brief, brief visit by Craig over there. Uh, so as I was saying, pumps on. You might notice, you might not. It depends how often you watch these vlogs. The sound is a little bit different. I had to take it apart, we had a broken seal. So we've reconditioned it with a new seal. I can't get any parts or spares for this pump though from Pure World Stainless because they've discontinued this pump or it said sold out on the website. I haven't rang them, I suppose I could ring them and get a new seal. Uh, but look at the similarities. This is an Ibarra pump and quite frankly if I bring this over here I think these are probably made in the same factory just a different colour so I'm guessing that'll be a Chinese ripoff of the Ibarra design but I mean they are so similar it's uncanny the good thing about these though these Ibarra pumps is all the spares are readily available I use prestige pumps and uh, chap there, Dale Moxton, will sort you out with anything you need as a top bloke. And uh, this arrived next day after ordering it. So we've got back up because I was panicking. This started leaking, you see, when I put it back together. It was leaking before I took it apart, let me just say. But when I put it back together, um, it didn't resolve the leak. And I had to put a new seal on mechanical seal on the shaft which has resolved it but I couldn't replace the seal the, the stationary seal on the back edge because the, the spare that I had didn't fit which is why I took the pump for the new pump anyway long story short she's working again and we've got a spare awesome news secondly well hot weather boys and girls we're having to empty all these tanks. We're a little bit behind on getting this beer out of tank and into cask and keg. Mainly because we had stock with, I built quite a stock up in the cold rooms with the uh, product in. So we've been waiting for the empty vessels to come back into the brewery, which is now happening. So we need to get all this beer out and we need to fill these tanks up again because we are gonna rapidly run out of vacant gesture at some point. Also got 20 more kegs on order, still waiting for them to arrive. Should be any day now, five week lead time. Five week lead time on pretty much anything you order these days. But it's five weeks that uh, well, I might not have factored in when I initially ordered them. I could have done with them two weeks ago. So what do we need to do? This tank here has got vacant gesture in it. This tank here has got the raspberry sour in it. They need to go into Cannon Keg. This Firmzilla, this has got the IPA in it. This needs to go into Can. It's the Vic Secret Simcoe American IPA. This needs to go into Can. It's really fruity. Blueberry, I'm getting a lot of blueberry from it. Got some corny kegs charging up down here for a friend's wedding, I believe. And as you can see, we are carving up like there's no bloody tomorrow. All this stuff is being charged up with CO2. As you can see, the temperature in the brewer is about 28 degrees today, but it'll cool down to about 18 overnight. So we're going on average about 22, meaning that we need about 25 PSI to put 2.2 volumes of CO2 into all of these beers. We've got a combination proof of concept, vacant gesture, Hell, there's even some coconut shy PA there. 
so all that looks getting carved up it's been really quite a busy week so uh, this is about ready to transfer now I'm just gonna change the pipe work over get it all hooked in and then we might just have time to nip into the kitchen and uh, show you my new fangled invention that I've welded today although saying that actually they're in service in the kitchen so pre probably not the best time to go in there and do any video I also had to change out one of the fans for the cold room so these are the fans that we use for the cold room 12 volt 80 watts just basically hooked directly into the uh, transformer with a little switch on the control box and we just turn it on and off when we go in or whatever but usually these fans are on constantly to recirculate the air and they're relatively waterproof because they're designed to go in cars uh, but this one gave up a ghost why I don't know but it was an easy change and a new one was less than £20 so we swapped it out and popped the new one in and bingo bango we're away again and the cold rooms are all operating and functioning quite nicely actually I've just been in uh, cold room 5 which has meant that the temperature on the classics began to creep up but they're all sat at around two degrees, four degrees. I must say though, the pipe work running out to the heat dump, that is hot. I would reckon that's 40, maybe 40 degrees, something like that. These aren't as hot on this one. So I'm guessing the heat dump's a little bit more efficient. And then I've lagged the pipe work because we were starting to get quite a few drips. Because remember, it, when it's at temperature it is below freezing so I just thought you'd like to uh, like to see what we have in the cold rooms as kind of Heath Robinson style heat exchangers just a simple universal car radiator and a universal car radiator fan hooked up to the glycol system one line in one line out Works an absolute treat. Hello. You're on candid camera. It would appear it's line cleaning day today. Welcome to the vlog. So, uh, 24th of July. No, it's not. 21st of July today. 21st of July. Bit of canning going on. Bit of brewing going on in the brewery. And here in the cellar, there's a little bit of line cleaning going on all very well isn't it so I need still to move the van so I can get my grain out for the farmer to collect this afternoon we don't want to be hanging on to it for too long aha this also gives me the perfect opportunity to show you uh, the lid that I put on our saladette so in here that does not feel cold at all 6 mil polycarbonate or uh, acrylic should I say and inside freezing cold uh, I've also built this frame which has been bolted to the top so we're going to put a lid up here as well for salads and desserts to be served out on and a back, all in clear perspex, so 
you can still see what's going on on the other side but it just offers a little bit more protection for everything that's being prepared on this side of the kitchen but look at that I'm really rather proud stainless steel hinges and bolts I just need to put some domed nuts on here for ease of cleaning tool station don't seem to have much stuff in stock at the moment though and then we've got a neoprene closed cell foam which doesn't absorb moisture it's what I use in the brewery they're easy to clean as well and it also keeps everything uh, cold inside there we go working nicely